Hey everyone, quick story I wanted to share with you. A little girl named Jenny. She's at the store with her mom, and as they're checking out, she sees this string of pearls that she just has to have. And she said, Mommy, can I have them? And the mom looked at the price tag. She goes, you know, I can think of a couple extra chores that you can do around the house, and your birthday's coming up, and you know you always get a crisp $1 bill from Grandma for your birthday, and you'll get those pearls in no time. So after dinner, uh, Jenny volunteers to do the dishes, gets a little extra money, goes over to the neighbor's house, says, hey, can I pick dandelions for 10 cents? And sure enough, her birthday rolls around and she gets that, what, that $1 bill. So they go back to the store and there they are. Jenny buys her string of pearls. Cost her $2, but they were hers. And Jenny wore them everywhere. She absolutely loved them. She wore them when she played. She wore them when she did her homework. She wore them to school. She wore them everywhere. The only place that she didn't wear them was in the shower because her mom said if she wore them there, they were going to turn her neck green. Jenny had a very loving father. Every single night, he would read her a bedtime story and he would tuck her in. And one night as Jenny was playing, dad came in to tell his story. He said, Jenny, do you love me? She said, of course, daddy. He said, will you give me your pearls? She said, no, daddy. These are my favorite pearls. These are my favorite thing. But you can have my little pony that's sitting right over there. That's my favorite toy. He said, that's okay, little one. Daddy loves you. Kissed her on the forehead, tucked her in, turned out the light, and went, went out the door. Second night rolls around. Daddy's doing his routine. And he said, Jenny, do you love me? She said, absolutely, Daddy. You know that I do. He said, will you give me your pearls, sweetheart? She said, no, Daddy, but you can have my Barbie dream house that I got for my birthday. That, I love that. You can have that instead. He said, that's okay, little one. Kissed her on the forehead, hit it the light, and out he went. Night number three, Daddy's coming in to do the same thing with his little girl, and she's sitting on her bed, crisscross applesauce, and she has her head down. And the dad sits on the bed, and Jenny raises her little hand and raises it up and has her pearls in the hand. The dad takes the pearls from her and he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a velvet box. And within that box was a genuine strand of pearls that he had had the whole time. And he put them on her neck. The moral of the story is how often in our life have we held on to the dime store stuff that we've been led to believe or told by others or told ourselves that what this represents is as good as it ever gets. That even if you've made a mistake or settled for something, that you've thought, no, this is all that I deserve. But in reality, there is a heavenly father in our creator who has a genuine strand of pearls for you and for me that is wanting to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask, think, or even imagine. But in order to receive what is best for us, we've got to be able to let go and give up and surrender what we've been holding on to. We all do it, friends. I, I do it too. But I want to challenge you as I've been challenging myself to let go of the imitation things in exchange for the real thing that's just waiting for you and I. He's such a gentleman. He'll never take it from you. But if you're willing to offer it up, I guarantee you he's got something waiting for you that will absolutely blow your mind because that's how much he loves you and I. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great night.